Tari just um, obviously all his first game away from the PMAC um, against two uh, high major teams. Just how do you feel like y'all did and adjusted from Penn State and then going to Wake Forest? Um, I feel like we adjusted really well. Um, like you said, it was our first, you know, game away from the PMAC against some, you know, high major talent. So um, it was a it was new. Uh, there was a bit of an adjustment, you know, as you guys saw in the first game. And, you know, after that, after we made that adjustment, I felt like, you know, we just took it and ran with it and did really well. Tari, Coach was talking a little bit about the turnovers, too many, too many, I guess, uh, in transition especially. What uh, he said, he made a clip yesterday of it to show show you guys. What what did you see in that clip, and why do you know why these things are happening? I mean, y'all play at such a high speed. Uh, uh yeah. Um, I just think you know sometimes you know, like you said, we, we're moving so fast. You know, we may not necessarily, you know, fully be in control. You know, especially when the break. You know, we're really scary. So, you know, sometimes we might, you know, including myself, um, you know, might be a little too, you know, eager or just you know kind of too quick to make the play instead of just kind of, you know, slowing it down or just making the right play or jumping off one foot, you know, it's just stuff like that. Just uh, kind of being, just moving too fast. Yeah, we're just trying, yeah, we're just settling down. Hey, Tari, um, you know, for some players that have to come off the bench, it's a little bit of an adjustment period. I guess just for you, what has worked so well in these first seven games? And just, just talk about how you think you performed, you know, coming off the bench here for them. Um... I mean, for me, you know, it's always, for me, it's always, it doesn't really matter, you know, where you put me. You can put me, you give me 30 minutes, you give me three minutes. I'm going to make something happen, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how I've always played. I'm always going to make something happen. So I think that, you know, me having that approach and, you know, that kind of always, you know, being me and in my game, uh, it was just a, it was a easy kind of a adjustment because I've, I've been in these situations before and I know, you know, when you go out there, just got to be ready. You know, Will had talked about, uh, you know, how he isn't satisfied and you guys have such a higher ceiling. What has he been doing to keep you even killed despite having seven wins to start the year? I mean, you know, in film, obviously, he's never satisfied. You know what I'm saying? He's just always trying to put us in the right spots. Uh, in practice, I think he's he's always kind of just working with us, um, you know, if it's working on new plays, uh being in right positioning on defense, you know, we can get better in, you know, all areas. You know, even though we're winning, it doesn't mean we can't uh, stop getting better. Just how important has it, the offensive rebounding been, especially against Penn State? Y'all had 17 offensive rebounds when the offense is just struggling. Is that even more of an emphasis when y'all are struggling like that? Um, I don't think there's more of an emphasis. I think there's always an emphasis on rebounding, um, especially because, you know, that's an area that uh, Coach wanted to improve on uh, as far as, you know, this, the past year and, and now. So I don't think there's an extra emphasis on it um, per se. I just think that um, for me at least or just the guys out there, um, when it's a tough game, you're, you're going to try to do whatever you can do to win. You know what I'm saying? So if it's fighting for that, you know, extra offensive rebound or diving for that loose ball, you know what I'm saying? We're all just trying to, you know, make plays for us to win. Well, for you personally, what's been your biggest biggest step you've taken during the offseason coming from playing your freshman year at Cincinnati, coming to LSU, you know, kind of stepping into the role that you're in now? Um, the biggest step I've probably taken, I'd probably say, in, uh, is in my shooting and um, also my finishing through contact, uh, you know, free throws. I worked on my game a lot, you know, over over the summer. Um, I worked on just kind of all aspects. And so I think that, you know, this year I'm showcasing that, you know, a lot of aspects of my game have gotten better um, just all around. I was wondering if you could just kind of expand maybe on your, your defensive versatility, just kind of, you know, it seems like you're really able to switch one through five, you know, when you're out on the floor. Just what, what at what point in your career did you kind of, find your defensive niche and how have you kind of perfected it over the last, you know, I guess couple months or years? Um, I've always been really competitive. I've always been super competitive um, since I was a, since I was a child. So I think that it's not, a, I, I mean, I've never sort of had like a defensive like niche or just kind of, you know, went out there and like, I'm going to do this, then the third. I just, I don't want my man to score. You know, I want to score more than the guy I'm guarding. I want to, 
you know, I want to beat you, I want to win. So I think that just that competitive spirit that I've always had, I've just it's always carried along, you know what I'm saying, every every aspect of the game. Thank you.